just looking around, I'm going to have to start getting in here. It's, I see cobwebs are starting to form. This is his workspace. Vancouver was very much of his passion. The first book he did on Vancouver was a guidebook. I think it was the first guidebook to Vancouver. And, uh, and then he did a, his big Vancouver book in 1976. He died on uh, November 20th, and that is just a little over two months ago. The cancer agency told us that my cancer was incurable. No, I stay out of this room. But I'll have to come in eventually <laughs> and clean it up. See, these are the sorts of pictures, of course, that he would have loved. Either, you know, the Lower Mainland, Vancouver, the first post office. We were saying to him, you know, just put the writing aside, just enjoy your last, you know, the, the, the little bit of time that you have left. And he said, no, I have to work. Well, the first time I found myself asking, who did all this? <laughs> <laughs> this was his main baby, and he'd been working on it for several years. This beautiful and exciting city, I'm sorry, with its glowing future, needs a book, big book of its history for you and for your kids. I hope you can help. Thank you. It's kind of overwhelming, the goodwill, not just in small donations, but people willing to contribute their efforts for nothing. I don't know how many people leave this earth with a lot of people sitting around saying, let me know what I can do to, uh, to finish off this guy's work. It'll be very exciting to actually hold a copy in, in our hands. And uh, that'll just that'll be very nice.